Hey, this is Tony here with Salt Strong, and in this video, I'm going to show some rigging with blue crab, whether it be live or if you cut it up. I'm going to show you a couple ways to rig these up. Now, this is a whole live blue crab. I took the claws off just for uh, safety reasons while I'm doing this video, but I'll usually take them off either way. Uh, just makes it safer for rigging and also easier for the fish to eat. So this is about a good size blue crab, especially for big bull redfish or big black drum. So you can really just use the whole thing. One thing I like to do is pinch off the ends of the uh, shell here, these pointy ends. Just makes it a little easier for the fish to eat as well. So I'll just pinch those ends off. And when I rig these up, I will actually go through the back of the crab through one of the leg holes. I'll actually use the fin hole uh, right there where the flapper is on the back of the uh, blue crab. And I'm using a 4 aught circle hook. Either a 4 aught or a 5 aught works really well. And I'll just go through that little area back there through the leg and then up through the shell like so. And make sure you leave that hook point exposed. That way you can get a good hook set. And you can cut this crab up into chunks. If you've ever heard uh, people say they caught a fish on half a blue crab or a quarter of a blue crab, it's basically what it says. If you're using half a blue crab, you basically just cut it right down the middle. And if you're using a quarter, you cut the crab into uh, four equal pieces there. So just to show, cutting this crab in half, I like to leave the shell on because that helps keep the meat in, keeps the bait pickers from taking the meat off of there. And this is usually much easier with a pair of shears or scissors. But you can get away with using a knife. Let's go right through the body there. Cut right down the middle. Just be careful. Again. Right down the body, through the middle. And that's a good chunk of crab to throw out there for big redfish, slot size redfish. And if you're in an area with uh, some smaller fish, you can again cut that right down the middle here and make a quarter and you'll have a nice bite sized chunk. So same thing when rigging these halves or quarters, I'll go through uh, the leg here or the back flapper leg hole, whatever you want to call it. Go right through there with the circle hook up through the shell just gives it a little bit more of a secure hold and you're good to go. Also, I see a lot of people rig uh, the crab from the corner right here. You can also do that. Uh, makes it a little bit more streamlined, especially if you're fishing in current. I would take the legs off because what happens is those legs will catch the current. And what you can do here, once I can get this, show you here, get that circle hook through that corner like so and as you can see if you're fishing in current that's going to make it more streamlined because the pointy end is facing into the current so i'm actually out here fishing a pretty calm flat right now so i'm not using any weight if you're fishing a little deeper i recommend using either a knocker rig or a fish finder rig just to keep that crab down on the bottom so we're going to rig it up throw it out there and see what happens. We are on. Big red. 